What I really love about cooking is that uh, every day I learn something from somebody. This particular recipe I learned from a server actually, that one day she came out, she came in the kitchen at the end of the night and I just didn't feel like cooking for her. So we kind of came up with a really simple recipe, the kind of recipe that you come home, you, you don't have any time to cook, you have your family or friends coming over in, in, in half an hour, you want to surprise them, make something special, I'll show you what, what we can do. We called it a dragon ball. So what's going to be a little bit of uh, brown rice at the bottom, raw veggies, a nice, very simple dressing, and a finishing touch that I'm going to show you later. So I'm going to keep it a bit of a secret. Extremely simple, but it's really going to bring a little bit of sunshine to your table. So what we're going to need uh, to cook the Dragon Ball is uh, a little bit of uh, brown rice. Any kind of rice we really do, but brown rice is more nutritious. Fresh basil and a array of vegetables that uh, I, we uh, pick up at the market this morning. So we have some tomato, peppers, zucchini, really whatever you have in the fridge uh, would work. For the dressing, uh, fresh lemon, and of course, extra virgin olive oil. So brown rice is two parts water to one part uh, rice. I'm gonna start from adding my rice, a pinch of salt, a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm just going to use the same cup that I measure my rice in and double that amount. Perfect. We're going to move to the stove. And we're going to go high heat. So you want to boil the rice for about 30, 30, 45 seconds. As soon as it comes to a boil, we're going to lower it to a really nice gentle simmer. So on a traditional stove, it between, would be between 2 and 3. So kind of 2.2 to 0.3. And we're going to let it cook for 40 minutes. I don't usually use a timer, but rice is one of those uh, things that you want to be precise. So for brown rice in particular, 40 minutes. As soon as this comes to a boil, we're going to cover it, lower the heat, and we can go shower, you can set up the dinner table, you can do anything that you need to know. You have about 40 minutes to get ready. And uh, because we are on, on TV here, I, was, uh, I prepared the rice in advance, so we can just go on and, and finish to prepare our dish. There is no real prep involved with this dish, so I'm going to grab directly my, my serving bowl. I'm going to give a good mix to the rice. I let it sit for about five minutes after it was cooked. And I'm gonna put it right at the bottom of my bowl. Now this is a really nice uh, summer dish. Uh, it's very fresh. There is uh, raw vegetables in it, very nutritious. But the important thing is that it's got a lot of flavor and it requires barely any effort on your side, which is something I really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy to cook this way. All right, so we're now we're gonna start layering with all the vegetables that we have. So I'm going to start with a little bit of zucchini and we're going to grate it raw, just on, right on top. Next step, we're going to grab a carrot. I've washed uh, all my vegetables in advance and this is a young carrot so I don't even have to peel it and you're gonna see some nice color starting to appear on our dish. So everything is raw, but at the same time, we do have a little bit of heat from the brown rice and because the, the uh, vegetables are, are shaved so thinly, uh, it's just gonna slightly warm them up. And in a way, sort of cook it, but preserving all the, all the good ingredients in it. Uh, what else do we have? I have a beet here. A nice beet is going to add a really beautiful color. And uh, I have a few green beans. Green beans are just in season right now. And the green beans, they'll be kind of hard to, uh, to graze. So I'm just going to chop them really small. And here they go inside. And like I said, you can literally use any vegetables that you have uh, kind of kicking around in the fridge or growing in your garden. Oh, we have a beautiful pepper, I almost forgot.
if you like spicy food, you may add uh, fresh chilies or chili flakes. A little bit of fresh basil, and you can just sweep it off with your hands. Now for the dressing, it couldn't get any, any simpler than this. We're just going to squeeze a good amount of uh, fresh lemon on top. The lemon is really going to bring out all the flavors and allow them to uh, shine. A little bit of salt. Extra virgin olive oil. And you can be generous with the oil. And to finish, this dish, we have a little bit of roasted pepper hummus, and I'm not gonna lie, I did buy this hummus. I, I, I'd be able to, uh, to, uh, to make it myself, but sometimes you're simply in a rush, so hummus is something that I always have in my fridge. And this is roasted pepper, it just adds a nice flavor, but also a little bit of color, and I'm gonna put it right on top. Now, I know you're thinking this, is, this dish took maybe five minutes to put all together. And, and we didn't do very much cutting, we didn't do very much playing around. But as you, as you can tell, there's lots of colors going on and there's lots of flavors. And I can guarantee you, it will satisfy even the most hard to satisfy uh, guest at your dinner table. And this is the Dragon Ball. Welcome back to Cedar Creek State Winery. Our friend Martin um, just brought us this dish that his friend Julio cooked up in the kitchen this afternoon. It's full of fresh summer flavors and he came over wondering what, uh, what wines might pair well with this. Chock full of summer vegetables, uh, fresh herbs, and some nice brown rice. Um, of course, I called over our friend uh, and President Gordon Fitzpatrick to help us figure out what wine will go with this fresh dish. Well, nothing says springtime like our Pinot Gris or our Rosé, so I think both of them would be excellent pairings. Um, the Rosé, this is the first one that we've done under the Cedar Creek label, the 2010, and it is based 100% on Pinot Noir. We call it our acoustic version of the Pinot Noir, and I think, uh, well, you were noting that with the beets, it should pair beautifully with it. So. Uh, why don't you grab the fork, I'll do the honors on pouring the wine, and we'll start off and see how the rosé goes with it. What our winemaker Daryl Brooker did with this particular rosé was is that he took, um, he bled off after about five to seven days of uh, fermentation a little bit uh, of each of the blocks that we harvested. Uh, so 100% uh, Pinot Noir based rosé. I think it's uh, it's almost the end of the day, isn't it, Marcia? Mm. I can try a little bit. It's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, perfect. Oh. Let's go. This is really good. Beets and Pinot Noir are really natural food pairings. Um, they, they echo a lot of the same flavors. And these are nice, fresh, uh, Okanagan grown beets. So they've got that nice sweetness to them. So it really, it really resonates in the wine. It's good. Should we try it with the green next? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pinot Gris, that, actually, I just uh, read that this is the number two planting of grapes in all of the Okanagan now, and there's a reason for it. Pinot Gris is really well suited uh, to our region, and this is a particular uh, varietal that uh, we're very, very keen on, and uh, this is the 2010 and uh, it's really coming into its own right now. You know, I've been noticing behind the tasting bar that Pinot Gris is, uh, is wine pairing for dummies because Pinot Gris goes with everything. It's just such an easy, easy summer wine. Um, it's, especially if you want something with a vinaigrette, if the acid in the, in the, in the Gris is pretty easy. This is good. Mm, that is very good. No hard and fast rules when it comes to pairing wine with food. We could probably sit here, Gordon and I, um, until 9 o'clock tonight tasting wines through our portfolio and, and we'd find something in each wine that we would enjoy with this dish. So pick something you enjoy and, and something that's fresh and, and pick something from Cedar Creek and, and it'll work for you. And on that, you have our word. Cheers. Cheers.